Alright guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, where in this video I'm going to be talking about Arsenal's trip to France, where we played Marseille this evening in our first game of the Champions League group stages, and given the other teams that are in our group in Dortmund and Napoli, Marseille are probably the easiest group, that, um, the easiest team in fact, that we could have got first. Uh, out of the fr uh, other three teams in there, they're, they're the team that I struggled to see actually progressing from the group stage. Yeah, they've got some good players, uh, but frankly they're, they're the weakest link in that group. Um, but obviously they're not going in with that mentality, they were going in to win. And they proved that tonight, they played an excellent game of football. And uh, frankly in that first half, we, Arsenal, were not good enough. We fielded a strong team, Per Mertzsacker coming back from uh, his illness. Uh, we sort of like to Ozil start, um, Wilshere, Ramsey, Walcott. Uh, I'll talk about Walcott in a minute, I've just got a few things to brush over with him, but that first half, we, we just weren't good enough. I mean, we created a few chances, but it could have been such a different game. I mean, Marseille could have quite easily gone 1 or 2 up in that first half, and we just weren't good enough. Uh, we looked lacklustre, uh, we looked lazy, uh, we looked a bit too comfortable at times, and um, going on from that point, Theo Walcott in that first half was atrocious. Um, okay, first five minutes of the game, he did have one or two chances on goal, and I'm thinking, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe he's getting back to his uh, old ways. Maybe he's going to score a couple in this game. But at first half, like, after five or ten minutes, he just kind of disappeared. I mean, it was like we were playing with ten men at one point. Uh, he kind of just went off the screen. I, I didn't see him whatsoever. Uh, I was really disappointed. Uh, not just with Phil Walker, but pretty much the whole team in that first half. I mean, I know it's away from home. It was an intimidating atmosphere, intimidating stadium. But uh, I would have expected a bit better in that first half. And frankly, I didn't see the likes of Ozil that much in the... Um, First off, and he was playing a bit wider out on the left-hand side this game, uh, chopping and changing with Wilshere, and I think it's important that he gets to play in that role behind Olivier Giroud, because that's where he plays his best football, that's where he's most creative, and I know he did keep changing with Wilshere, but it's a fact that we saw against Sunderland, he is simply so much better playing behind the striker, that's where he creates some of his best football. But uh, moving on from that point, it was the second half that we really asserted our dominance somewhat. However, uh, in the only minutes of the second half, we could have quite easily uh, gone a goal down, I mean... They had an early chance, but thankfully we regained the possession. Uh, we were looking a lot more friendly going forward. We had a couple of early chances as well in that second half. Wilshere had an early chance, uh, but we did look good uh, in the second half. It has to be said, and in the 65th minute, we did get a goal through Theo Walker. It was a great cross in by Kieran Gibbs, and uh, the defender, um, the Marseille defender, did an absolutely atrocious job in clearing it. Um, that's not the one thing you want to do, duck underneath the ball and just let it go straight to the striker. Uh, but Walcott took it very well, very composed, lethal shot into the top left-hand corner of the net. Um, Mandanda and the uh, defender could do absolutely nothing about that lethal shot. And um, yeah, for a player that didn't really turn up in the first half, Theo Walcott, after that goal, was a, a different player. You saw much more of him, he was busting the gut for the team. He was playing a lot better. And that goal, I believe, is going to give him so much more confidence. And so we're going to see the real Theo Walcott now. I reckon after this, he's going to be scoring more goals. Uh, like we saw towards the end of last season where he was scoring goals for fun really he will get back to his best now. He just, I just think he needed a, a goal to really inject him with a bit of confidence and now he's got that I'm confident he'll go on and score a hat full of goals in the remainder of the season uh, and he's a crucial part of our team and it's just glad, I'm so glad he's got a goal tonight because like I said it will give him a massive confidence boost and he, he's um, a key part of that team linking up with Olivier Giroud as well as the likes of Ozil and he is a big player and hopefully now he will regain some kind of form and keep this solidarity going in some respects. But uh, yeah, we really did press from there on in. It, it did look at times like we, we, they, uh, Marseille could have gone level, but thankfully they didn't. And again, Aaron Ramsey. Oh, I, words can't describe what kind of sensational form he is on at the moment. Again, he cut through the Marseille defence like it was butter. And an absolutely phenomenal shot. Uh, okay, maybe it took a bit of a deflection, but... You know, who cares, he's got another goal, and that's six goals for him now, and this is... It, he's, it, confidence must be flowing through Aaron Ramsey at the moment. I'm just so pleased with him. I can't put into words uh, quite how pleased I am for Aaron Ramsey after he's had those quite uh, average, appalling seasons, and now he's come through, he's proved all the doubters wrong. He's proven to be uh, one of the best midfielders in the league, quite frankly, if not the best. The, the start, his start to the campaign has been phenomenal. If he can keep this going for the rest of the season, he... It, it's, it's just amazing how well he's playing and uh, so much credit to Ramsey he's got another goal another outstanding performance he put an excellent tackle as well a bit earlier in the game he gives so much to the team uh, he's a great player I'm just so glad we've got uh, someone like Aaron Ramsey in our team he's also linking up really well with Wilshere who I believe again did have a really uh, decent performance he was rather sublime as well but uh, yeah 
Going on towards the end of the game, it did look rather comfortable. Kieran Gibbs, uh, another man that I think really did stand out for me. And in my opinion, my man of the match, there are so many contenders for man of the match tonight, but Kieran Gibbs, so many crucial tackles, headers. Uh, he really did save us at one point when Chesney fumbled, had that little bit of a mix up with Mertzak, and he just cleared the ball away. He was a crucial part tonight. One of the best left backs in the league. He's a top player. He's, he's an unsung hero in some respects. He deserves so much more credit. I think a lot of people forget about him at times. But um, towards the end of the game, it did seem to be, to be uh, rather sloppy and we did concede a late penalty which was then uh, scored by Jordan Ayew and it was a really good penalty into the top right corner. Chesney could do nothing about it. It slightly tarnishes the result but I'm not complaining because 2-1 away from home, intimidating atmosphere uh, against a really good Marseille side. We've got three points, I'm really happy. Another thing I just want to quickly brush over, Olivier Giroud tonight didn't impress me much but I, I can't say too much about that because he, he wasn't really getting a lot of service, he did appear, he, he did disappear at times but you know, uh, we don't always have great games and frankly for Giroud it wasn't a great one tonight, he didn't really um, have any major input towards the game uh, but I'm sure he'll get back to win, uh, goal scoring ways uh, against Stoke at the weekend but referring back to the result itself, it's a great result away from home, uh, we've got Napoli next in the Champions League at home, uh, as we know tonight they beat Dortmund at their own ground, uh, winning by two goals to one, and that's a great result for them, and frankly, they're going to be one of the toughest opponents, especially to face at home, but I'm confident this group of players uh, can defeat them, and plus we'll have the likes of Arteta, maybe Podolski back by that time, so hopefully we will look a bit more positive, and hopefully we can grind our result against Napoli, but uh, tonight it wasn't really a comfortable victory, we did have to kind of scrape it out, but we've done it, we've got three points, but looking at, um, just quickly, uh, around Europe elsewhere, Chelsea have lost tonight, and uh, I, I don't want to talk about Chelsea too much, but it's just fantastic that uh, we kick, we've hit the ground running, we've kick-started the game, um, Champions League, and they really, frankly haven't, and you know, you can't put us in for, to, uh, in for contention to win the Champions League just yet, I mean, we haven't got quite enough squad depth, but come January, if we get through these group stages, and we've hit, we've started the, the group stage phenomenally, we will win away from home, three points on the board already, uh, if, if we can keep this up, bring in a couple of players in January, I could have us as down as contiles, uh, contenders for, for the Champions League quite easily. But tonight's been an absolutely great result. Really happy. Uh, move on to Stoke at the weekend. A, a very physical team. Be a big game for all the lads. Um, and then we've got the League Cup, of course, after that. But, uh, yeah, uh, Champions League game out of the way. We move on now. And, frankly, great result. So, uh, let me know what you thought of the game. Leave your thoughts in the comments box below. Um, I do read through all the comments. I love hearing what you have to say. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.